What's up, what's up guys? Last week I was so excited to upload the latest vlog and then I went to put on the outro, plug in my hard drive and then this message pops up. I have no idea what it meant and I did some Googling and pretty much says that my hard drive does not want to cooperate with me today. And at that point I thought I lost everything and I wasn't going to make my latest vlog happen. It was a very expensive day, $100 for the software, $100, oh sorry, $150 for a new hard drive and that really hurt my pocket, so. I salvaged up as much as I could, so here's my latest vlog and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is my sister. No. Hello! I'm gonna take my parents and my really skinny cousin. <laughs> no, we're gonna go to a Filipino restaurant um, called Chad's Chicken. They do like probably the best hala hala for what it's priced as well. So, um, yeah, let's go. I'm just coming over. Just welcome to my vlog. All right, we're here. Chad's Chicken. Just a little bit of information on what Dad is eating. Um, what is it? So you, you it's explain. It's a uh, pork's blood. You know the blood of the pork. It turns black once you cook it. And yeah, it's with liver, like offals, and with a little bit of pork meat. With the liver? No, not not that. But normally, traditionally, it has the oh. liver. I was not that bad, but it's not, not bad. No. So, Vanessa and I got something just a little bit more conventional, a little bit more tasty, not as out of the box. Um, we got the butterfly chicken. It's kind of, it's Filipino style, but it's more like a Spanish style chicken. Very excited for this. Never really get to have hala hala much, but this is probably the best hala hala you can have in the West Side. Eight bucks, pretty big. Everywhere else is like small and expensive, so this is the best hala hala you can get. Finished <coughs> and so full. Definitely recommend Chad's Chicken if you're ever here on the West Side and you want something different but not too different. I'll get some chicken at Chad's Chicken, and then when you finish that, get some hala hala. What's up, what's up? Today, Taylor and I are going on an adventure. Um... Idiot. We're going to Turpin Falls, which is in... Bendigo-ish way, kinda, I'm assuming. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Um, Taylor's mocking me outside the window because I use my hands a lot when I talk. So it's going to be pretty exciting. It's probably got the biggest cliff in Melbourne, apparently. Will I jump it? I'm not sure. I'm a little bit terrified. I've had a look at a few videos on how to jump a cliff safely without splitting your lip. Oh yeah, that looks... what the fuck? <laughs> and I've had a look at a few videos where people have jumped this cliff before as well and it looks pretty darn big. Anyway, let's go. Adventure time! Okay, we made it to the car park. 
the area of this Turpin Falls. Again, a lot of people here. Um, it is a hot day, so it is expected. Now it is a trek to the to the falls. I don't know how far it is, but I don't think it's that far. Oh, it's literally just there. to the fact that it was hard rock climb it was just don't, the, look down. don't look down and also the rocks were really hot like yeah. scorching hot um, <laughs> my feet are numb the moss, the moss is kind of nice. that's the jump there we're at the top and we're starting to feel a little bit that fear of heights is kind of coming into play again <laughs> people in this world to make you do crazy things. Um, we're at the top of Turbans Falls. This is roughly 23, 23 meters high. Roughly 23 meters high. So this is the highest point you can jump. Uh, there's another jump which is probably like 12. Yeah, just down there off the water. So, there. Um, so this is the highest point that you can jump. Standing up here right now, like, Watching him. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Come up, come on. I just did Turpin's Falls. It does say no jumping, it's prohibited. I will say I don't condone this and anyone to do it, it's at your own risk. I'm not condoning it at all. Um, people have died here. So they don't know the depth of this. No one's ever seen the bottom or touched the bottom. Apparently there's an underwater reservoir that's connected to it so it's always constantly filling. How it was created, which is really cool. A comet came through and you can see this huge ridge 
and then it stopped here, and that's apparently how Turpin's Falls was created. Anyway, I'm super stoked that I did it. Again, I'm just gonna say disclaimer, I don't condone it, I don't think everyone should do it. If you wanna do it, it's at your own risk, okay? Because people have died here. So I was lucky, I found somebody who had done it before, and I saw him jump, and I was like, I need, I need to find that guy, grab him, so he can jump with me and take me through it as well. And he was fantastic. Thank you, Biz, so much. You're a legend. And yeah, it's a beautiful place to come for a swim anyway, so you can just check it out. Hi, Kim. Hi.